Hello, my name is Rick Bauer, and I am a senior technical consultant for the Proficient Sitecore practice. I'd like to welcome you to the beginning of the Site Cordial video channel, and the beginning of a series designed to help marketers visualize the power of Sitecore experience marketing. This series will be assuming at least a familiarity, or even beginning content and marketing operation of Sitecore Experience Manager 8, and that a solid digital marketing strategy is an ongoing effort. It will focus on the mechanics of applying marketing strategy to Sitecore XDB, or Experience Marketing, using a crawl, walk, run, fly approach. Before we dive into the first topic, please let me give you an overview of Sitecore and why I think, and many others think, it stands above the rest. Number one, Sitecore is a complete experience marketing tool that includes powerful content management, analytics, A-B testing, personalization, and more built from the ground up as one cohesive platform. Number two, it is built on the .NET platform for secure, scalable connectivity to nearly all marketing channels and business systems, either on-premise or as a cloud-based solution. Number three, it empowers marketers to make day-to-day -day content changes, test, personalize, and make intelligent decisions based on familiar reporting, driving quicker response and less cross-departmental strain, especially between marketing and IT. Number four, most importantly, all the marketing rules are driven by your business. Using strategy, you and your marketing team define what is important to the organization, and these definitions drive user experience and a clear picture of your customers as it relates to your priorities. With that very high overview, let's just dive right into Sitecore. I will say again, a solid strategy should be in place before you simply dive into setup. Without strategy, you could find yourself building a user experience that not only backfires on customers, but also delivers false reporting, in turn further guiding you and your team in the wrong direction. My shameless plug here will be to suggest you not only work with a strong Sitecore implementation partner, but one that can also support the necessary strategy to deliver successful results. With key strategy elements in place, including KPIs, marketing channels, products or services, and more, we can start to crawl in Sitecore by building out taxonomy. We simply access the marketing control panel and open the taxonomy tree. Here you will be presented with default taxonomy. You can go a long way with the defaults, but right away you can imagine how you may start to align this to your organization. Organized into groups like campaigns, channels with both online and offline, assets, and starting facets, you can start to organize based on your business. There are also outcomes, venue, and the ability to create any custom taxonomy. The options are wide open. For today, I will stick with some of the basics. These elements can ultimately drive reporting, drill down, and also be used to drive personalization, segmentation, and so on. For now, we are simply going to focus on high-level setup, but I promise I will be referring back to these in future episodes. Let's start by creating a campaign group by right-clicking on the campaign group category. I will go on the assumption that your company has a monthly newsletter. This, of course, could be further defined by product group, etc., but for the sake of this demo, I will keep it top layer. Once created, you have the ability to include a tracking code. This is recommended and ideally is tracked on another business system, including something as simple as your campaign spreadsheet. It is a reference to help you organize. Add a description if you wish, and even add an icon. Might sound cartoony, but for those visual people out there, it will ultimately help you navigate content over time. Then simply save the item. It is best practice to also deploy the group to make your updates available throughout Sitecore. Let's open up the group channel. Notice that there are already a good deal of online and offline channels provided. You can certainly fine tune them, but for the most part, there is a great start here. Finally, let's set up a couple of facets. Sitecore provides you with a number of default campaign, goal, and asset facets, which may seem like a duplicate to some of the groups we created. I suggest you think of these facets as the name implies, potentially smaller degrees of detail to the broader default groups. Where a campaign group could be a newsletter, a campaign facet could be a specific product type, region, objective, or season. And as always, save and deploy. This will be a little bit of a look ahead, but I want to quickly demonstrate why this is an ideal starting place and where you will start to pull these taxonomy elements in. Looking in goals, you will see that you can access some of these groups and assets 
and tie them specifically to that goal. Same goes for campaigns, and same goes for assets as you load them into your media library. By identifying groups and facets like these, you are better able to tag content and drive reporting. Looking into some of the reporting, you will see facets showing up as a drill down metric, even down to the customer level and on their timeline. Notice in this case a particular outcome was triggered and is visible on the customer timeline. All of this can be specific to your organization and developed to drive specific reporting and other business systems. Internally, Sitecore can even use these different taxonomy items to drive personalization and trigger events. Before moving further ahead, I suggest building out taxonomy to match your business as closely as possible. This should start with a spreadsheet and be added to Sitecore, but ultimately, these are the building blocks that will help you track, monitor, personalize, and make clearer decisions for your customers based on your marketing strategy. Join me in my next video where we will start work on Crawl Phase 2, Engagement Value and Goals, where you will start to see taxonomy put to greater use. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helped move you forward in your experienced marketing journey. Please reach out and share any ideas or questions. I'd love to hear from you.